Good evening. Today we will see NPTEL assignment seven, and that is what part two. Already we have seen six. Now we will go to seven. Determine the static indeterminacy of the following truss. Now we have DS E first. Now again R minus equilibrium equations. We have R here. We have one two, and then here we have one three. So we have three minus three equal to zero. DS I we have M minus two J minus three. Then we have M one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have m equal to nine minus two into j. J we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six joint minus three, and that is equal to zero. So internally determinate. Internally determinate. And therefore we will get ds equal to 0 plus 0. That is 0. This is externally determinate at 0. And therefore trust is determinate trust. Therefore Truss is determinate, and therefore ds equal to zero. So we have option that is D. So we have option D. Then we have next in the following indeterminate beam. Consider the vertical reaction at point C as the redundant force. Calculate the vertical displacement at point D one. At point C, D1 for the beam with the point load but without the restraint at C. That means we have value of D1. So we have this will be P, this will be L by 2, and we have to find value at C, which is D1. Now, if we will draw a bending moment diagram for this, so we are using. Conjugate beam. So this conjugate beam means we have this as fixed. And then we have uh, load that is in downward direction. But a moment diagram we have PL by 2 EI. Now we have to find out displacement at C. Displacement we have to find. Uh, and therefore we have moment because Moment is displacement and shear force is theta. And therefore, we have total load will act one half into PL upon EI, one half base into height. So, height into base. And where it will act? So, it will act at this distance we will have that is 2 by 3 into L by 2. So, it will be L by 3. And this is L by 2. And therefore, we have delta is equal to MC is equal to half into PL upon EI into L by 2. So PL upon 2 EI, sorry. So into L by 2 into we have L by 3. Moment we have to take. And this distance we will get L by 3 plus L by 2. So we have L by 3 plus L by 2. And then we will get it as PL square upon 8EI into so 5L by 6. And then it will be 5PL cube upon 48EI. So this is value of D1. We have 5PL cube upon 48EI. D1 we have this one downward. Then we have second. Next calculate the vertical displacement at point C. D2 for just the redundant for CY. So now we have this will be CY. And if we will plot bending moment diagram for it, then we will have this will be CY L upon EI. So we have this force will be upward. So this displacement will be downward. Now this will be upward. 
so because we have this moment we have that is anti clockwise we are going to get at mc so we are considering downward and this will gives clockwise so it will be upward so total force will act which will be half cy l upon ei into l and it will act at 2 by 3 into l and therefore we will get value this is delta means we have d1 now we have d2 and that is equal to 1 half cy l upon ei into l into 2 by 3 l and we will get 2 to cancel cy l cube divided by 3 ei and then we have using the compatibility equation of displacement at point c calculate the reaction at cy which of the following is correct d1 d2 and cy so d2 we will have cy l cube upon 3 ei upwards so we have this value is correct and now these two should be equal we will have d1 minus d2 should be zero because we have reaction so no displacement and therefore we will get d1 equal to d2 and then we will have cy l cube upon 3 ei and that is equal to 5 pl cube upon 48 ei now ei gets cancel l cube gets cancel 316 and therefore we will get cy is equal to 5 p by 16 so we have cy 5 p by 16 and therefore answer we have c now we will go to the ninth determine the static indeterminacy kind of static and kinematic indeterminacy so we have for of the following frame it is assumed unext inextensible means axial deformation is not possible so we have to find dse r minus equilibrium equation r we have given that is equal to 3 Minus three zero because here we have two reactions here we have one so total we will have three so externally determinate externally determinate now go to DSI now here we have three C. so now we have one cut required so we can have 3 into 1 and that is 3 and therefore ds we have 0 plus 3 equal to 3 now dk so now we have theta as first theta 1 then we have theta 2 then we have theta 3 then we have theta 4 now here we do not have delta because inextensible so it cannot go towards this no displacement because otherwise member will extend here it can tilt like this member will not extensible and therefore we will get delta h1 and therefore we have dk that is 5 so 3 and 5 so option we have that is a option so we have a and then now we have last problem determine the deflection at end b of the beam shown below and a has a fixed joint while b has vertical spring constant 2 newton per mm square so it can be written as 2 kN per mm also so e 200 gpa i 416.67 in mm 4 so first we will calculate ei 200 into 10 to 3 into 416.6667 and we will get it as 8 so 200 into 416.6667 and it comes 83.333 into 10 to 3 unit will be newton so 10 days to 3 and this is 2 so 10 days to 5 sorry we have this value that is 
83.33 into 10 days to 3 Newton millimeter square. So 200 to the power 3 into 416.6667. Sorry, 83.33 into 10 days to 6. So we have load in Newton, so we will and distance in meter. So I will calculate it 83.333. Newton meter square. Now we are interested to find out value of R and knowing R, we can have value of delta which will be equal to R by K. So now delta due to load minus we have R by K which is of spring and that is equal to due to a reaction delta due to reaction because total delta minus spring and then we will from this we will get that is value of delta r which we are from which we are going to get value of delta r. so now delta due to load so we are going to remove this spring and then we have 50 newton and we have seen from this we have delta is equal to pl cube upon 3 ei now P we have 50, L we have 0.2 cube divided by 3 into EI we have 83.333 and then we will get this value. So we have Newton and meter. So value will be 50 into 0.2 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 83.333 and then this comes 1.6 into 10 days to minus 3 meters, convert it into millimeters, 1.6 millimeters. Now second we have R by K, so R by K, R we do not know, K we know 2, which is again Newton and millimeters. And last we have due to reaction, so we have now reaction R, and due to this reaction actually, we are going to get this value that is equal to same as a CY. So we will get it as delta due to R and that is equal to R L cube upon 3 EI. Now R we are considering in Newton. L cube we have 0.2 cube divided by 3 and EI we have 83.33. And from this we will get this value that is 0.2 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 83.33. And then this comes 3.2 into 10 raised to minus 5 meters convert into millimeter 3.2 into 10 raised to minus 2 millimeter. Now we will substitute the values in the equation, this equation. Delta L we have 1.6 now all in Newton and millimeters. So now we have 1.6. So I will write formula again minus R by K, which is equal to delta due to reaction. Delta L we have 1.6 minus R we have to find K we have 2 and this we have 3 point so point zero three two into R. So this is into R we have actually. So 3.2 R I can write. And then if we will find 1.6 equal to 0 0.5 R plus 0 0.032 R, then we will get 0 0.5 R, which is equal to 1.6. And from this we will get R equal to 1.6 divided by 0.5 value is 3. Now we know we have delta due to spring is equal to R by K. R now we have 3 newtons. This is in newtons. And K we have 2. So delta spring we will get 1.5 millimeters. And we have to find out and A has a fixed joint while and B has a vertical spring. So determine the deflection at and B of the beam shown below. And then we have this displacement 
in the spring 1.5 mm which is answer c so likewise we have to solve the problems that is from assignment number uh, 7 so we will uh, stop here only so thank you